Action. <laughs> so quickly here, I want to cover landing position. So first, I'm going to show you the wrong position. What we don't want to do, if you can get the feet in here, we don't want landing like this. This is a heel strike, and this is the worst way to do it. You'll notice the easiest thing, the easiest thing to see on the heel strike is this position in the stride where you've got a pronounced angle there and we're coming down here. This is going to shock the knee, it's going to shock the back and we don't want that. What the right landing looks like is instead of the body weight being behind the foot, the body weight is on top of the foot. So the landing is actually going to be on the forefoot, which is going to be through this area here. So we're not here at all, we're not on the toes, we're through here. The other thing that's important is it's okay for the heel to touch. We just want to touch here first. So landing here, the heel can go down. One way to feel this is just hopping in place, feeling the pressure under the forefoot, but also feeling the heel kiss the ground each time. So the heel can make contact. You're not staying just tiptoes. It's just very relaxed. The other thing is the position you're landing. The landing position, this is the, the pose position. This is where you want to be landing on every stride. The foot is pulled under the hip. Both knees are bent. So if we look at it from this side, I still have a bend here. So it's not straight like this. I'm bent, it's a very springy position. This foot is under the hip. If we look again from this side, there's an angle between the foot the hip and the shoulder. That's the running position we want. And right now, to feel this, I'm pressing through the forefoot. So pressing through here. We'll talk quickly about drills for this. One of the simple drills is just to balance in this position. And when you're balanced, balancing, concentrate on the sensation through the forefoot. How does that feel here, the pressure down? This is the landing position. Remember, it's not this shocking position. This is the landing position. So first, get comfortable in this. That's one drill. Another drill is get comfortable going from this position into this position on the other foot. So switch, 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 switch. So this is just to feel what it's like to be landing like this. That's a, that's a fairly simple drill. Another one we want to do is the hopping. Uh, oh, no, we covered the hopping one already. So, yep, yeah, that's the main thing. Um, there's another one we can do, though, where you're running in place like this, and you're lifting just one foot high, and when you're lifting that foot, you're pulling the other foot under the hip. Not back here, not in the front, but you're pulling it up under the hip. So here I'm just alternating with the left, switching to the right, all of these drills, you can start them stationary. You can do both together. Again, focused on pulling the foot under the hip, and then you can transition it into a run. So you could do 20 or 30 seconds still, and then you just run forward, keeping the same feel. Okay, that's it for landing position. Again, remember, it's okay to let the heel touch. The heel can come down, don't run, just on your toes. Pose running isn't toe running. You're just landing on the forefoot and every time it's okay to let the heel come down and touch. Okay, good.